One News, Channel 7 Eyewitness News, with Mr. Weather Forecast. Now, Eyewitness News this morning. Good morning, 6 a.m. Search is on right now for a prisoner who managed to escape a holding cell in East Harlem. We're live at the scene with the very latest on the investigation and where police lost his trail. And an elderly man is recovering from his wounds after police say he was attacked by a homeless woman with mental illness. The gratitude he is sharing this morning for good Samaritans who literally saved his life. And what in the world was the motivation behind that shooting in a movie theater in Louisiana that killed three people? Good morning, everyone. Look at that stunning shot of lower Manhattan. The sun peeking up early on this Saturday morning, the fourth, a gorgeous day in a row. What a beautiful stretch of weather we have had late this July. Absolutely stunning out there to start out this Saturday, July the 25th. July. July. Who are you? I oh, missed my. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rob, I nice to meet Rob you. How you doing? Nelson, oh, right. How you doing? How you doing? Pleasure <laughs> is all mine. Yeah. It's all, but you know what? We've had a lot of stuff going on. We've had vacations. Yeah, so. it's summer. You know, people get used That's to it. it. Everyone's you know, all it over the place. So, but it's good to be back. And whole, whole gang, good. all three of us are back today. I know. Which is good. Good morning, everybody. Thanks for being with us. It's uh, trouble. Uh, I'm Rob Nelson, I it's think. Trouble. I'm Michelle Charlesworth. <laughs> in for myself. And we got uh, meteorologist Amy Freeze. What's going on? Uh, nice to see you guys this morning. Uh, what the audience doesn't know is that we do do a group text the entire time we're on vacation. We do. So it's not like we, I know. we barely been away from each other. <laughs> we're together. We're in each other's business. That's right. Uh, good Saturday morning to you. It is the better half of the weekend today. We'll get some humidity creeping in here tomorrow. But wow, what a picture as the sun has come up. Looking down into Manhattan and the sun is glistening on the buildings. We currently have 69 degrees, and we're going to go for the mid-80s, which is pretty seasonal for this time of year. Let's start off with the numbers right now. The city was the warmest overnight. Uh, in fact, temperatures were in the 70s until about 30 minutes ago, and now we've got 50s and 60s outside the suburbs that are showing up. Morristown, cool at 55. Sussex has 53. New City, you're at 62 degrees right now. Islip, 64, 56 at Riverhead. Temperatures in the upper 50s down the shore. Radar and satellite picture. Sure. Hardly a cloud as far as the eye can see. A great looking weekend. It appears that we're going to be dry both days. However, we could see some showers or storms moving in late tomorrow night. So we'll talk about that coming up in the forecast. For now, plan for a great summer day. Temperatures in the low 70s by 7 a.m., temperatures in the low 80s by noon, and then by 4 o'clock we hit the high of 85. Uh, coming up in just a few minutes, I'll have the AccuWeather seven day forecast. I'll see you then. Michelle? All right, Amy, thank you so much. And we continue to follow those developments in East Harlem this morning's police search for that prisoner who managed to escape custody. 57-year-old Arthur Collins was facing charges of trespassing and drug possession, but it is not the first time he's been in trouble with the law. Eyewitness News reporter Marcus Solis joins us live right now from East Harlem with more on this story. Good morning, Marcus. Good morning, Michelle. And here the 2-5 station house from where that suspect escaped. Now, he was not wearing handcuffs. He also had no shoes on, but that didn't prevent him from running out of the 2-5 precinct yesterday. Take a look. His name is Arthur Collins, and this is the person police are looking for. He had been arrested for trespassing in a building. Police say that he had on him crack, powdered cocaine, heroin, marijuana, and a gun silencer. Now, after he uh, escaped, you can see the police search that took place. Uh, tracking from aviation units as well as canine units. His scent was tracked down to a subway stop at 116th Street where the scent was lost. Now, Collins uh, was arrested for trespassing, but he has a long criminal history serving time for manslaughter, another stint for attempted murder. You see people talking like this, you ignore them and you just keep walking, you know? You, you, but if you stand there and you look at them and you start talking to them, then you might get into a lot of problems. You don't want that. Now, there's another embarrassing spot for the NYPD. Just a few weeks ago, this suspect escaped from police custody in Harlem. He has been arrested, but again, police now on the search for Arthur Collins, who escaped from the 2-5 precinct yesterday. And we're live in East Harlem. Marcus Solis, Channel 7, Eyewitness News. All right, Marcus, thank you. We also have a developing story out of New Jersey right now where emergency crews are on the scene of a house fire that jumped to a neighboring building. Officials say the fire started in East Orange about 4 o'clock this morning and quickly went up to three alarms. The flames spread to the roof of a neighboring house and burned through 
to the floor. There are no reported injuries. That's the good news. The Red Cross also helping displace residents to find some shelter. We will keep you updated on the progress being made by firefighters there at this scene. Bizarre story here. An elderly man in Greenwich Village is expressing his gratitude to a group of strangers who ran to his aid while he was being attacked. Police say the 72-year-old man named Miko was walking with a friend near 7th Avenue and 14th Street Thursday night when a woman suddenly lunged and slashed him with scissors. The victim was cut in the neck, tried to get away. Surveillance video shows the woman uh, following until others came to the couple's aid. Some gentleman came and took it, uh, her wrist and twisted, and I tried to kick out that scissors. All these wonderful people yeah. around, sure. that, that one guy pushed her down, and then she ran back to 8th Avenue. Oh, the victim was treated at Bellevue. The suspect, Alexis Starts, was arrested a short time later. She's believed to be homeless and right now is undergoing psychiatric evaluations. That's so scary. In other news now, we are learning more about the gunman behind that horrific scene at a Louisiana movie theater. John Russell Hauser killed two people Thursday, 20 minutes into a showing of the comedy Trainwreck, before then turning the gun on himself. And we've also learned that Hauser, a native of Alabama, arrived in Lafayette a few weeks ago and scoped out the theater at least once. ABC's Marcy Gonzalez has the latest. Prayers in Louisiana and flowers left outside of the movie theater. Inside, a horrific scene investigators are still combing through, trying to figure out what would trigger a man to suddenly stand 20 minutes into the movie train wreck, pull out a 40 caliber handgun, and start methodically shooting into the crowd. You realize th this is real, like this guy is shooting everyone in the theater. Witnesses sharing heroic moments, strangers helping each other to safety. A woman pulled me around. She probably got me out of there three or four seconds faster than I would have by myself. Jenna Moe taking a bullet for fellow teacher Ali Martin, saving her life. Martin then pulling the fire alarm. That teacher had really saved everybody in the theater's life. And there were the two who couldn't be saved. 21-year-old student Macy Bro and 33-year-old mother Jillian Johnson, pictured here on Instagram. We've got to sit there and, and do everything we can to bring closure to these families. The alleged gunman, 59-year-old John Russell Hauser, taking his own life when police say responding officers caught him trying to escape. Investigators now looking into his past. The protective order filed by his estranged wife citing violence and a history of mental illness. Police also investigating Hauser's hateful internet postings and the mysterious findings in his motel room. We found uh, wigs and glasses and disguises. In Lafayette, Louisiana, Marcy Gonzalez, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. And you can stay with Eyewitness News and ABC News, of course, for any updates on the shooting investigation. We will also push out the latest updates on our Facebook and Twitter pages as well. Good Morning America will pick up our coverage beginning at 8 o'clock. Overseas, we're following breaking news out of Turkey. Officials say they have conducted an airstrike against targets in Iraq for a second night. The Turkish Prime Minister's office says jets have struck camps belonging to ISIS militants in the Kurdistan Workers' Party. It is the first time Turkish jets have struck Kurds in northern Iraq since a peace deal was reached in 2013. Turkish warplanes also attacked ISIS targets in Syria for the first time yesterday. President Obama will open a business summit on the first full day of his North African tour. Mr. Obama arrived in Kenya yesterday for his first visit as president to his father's homeland. He had dinner with dozens of relatives, including his step-grandmother, also his half-sister there in the white. Today, he will host a conference on creating business opportunities in Africa and also meet with the president of Kenya. Tomorrow, President Obama will travel to Ethiopia, where he will meet with the prime minister and also attend a state dinner. He actually will be the first U.S. president to visit Ethiopia. Wow. Well, it must be a really personal trip for him on wow. a lot of levels. Of course, yeah. it's a family reunion. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, and it's uh, his first time as president, so that's wonderful. Kind of cool. Yeah. yeah. Coming up on Eyewitness News on this Saturday morning, we're updating you on the progress against several wildfires that are in many states out west. Also ahead, new images from the long journey to Pluto. The new information NASA scientists received from that amazing trip. And meteorologist Amy Freeze returns with your after the forecast. Look at that picture. Woo! 24 karat platinum. 
Coming back on a Saturday morning. Incredible lengths to bring the thrills, the adventure, and the best of Africa back home to you. Kalahari Resorts, now open in the Pocono Mountains. Book now at kalahariresorts.com. So, if you have a flat tire, dead battery, need a tow, or lock your keys in the car, Kaiko's emergency roadside assistance is there 24 7. Oh dear. Plus, good, good for me, what do you think? Kaiko, 15 minutes could save you 15 it is a entire transformation. It's like we have a new home. Real customers share their stories about Empire today. It's just that above and beyond that Empire is known for. The crew was professional. They were courteous. They worked so fast. But the quality is amazing. Empire's products are top notch. The carpeting and the flooring, it's phenomenal. I'm so happy we selected Empire. 800-588-2300 Empire today. At Turkey Hill, we're pretty fond of simple. Around here, simple comes as naturally as the sunrise. That's why we make our all-natural gelato the simple way, the old-world Italian way, smooth and dense, with only a few all-natural ingredients, like pure sugar, fresh milk, and extra cream. Turkey Hill All-Natural Gelato. Naturally delicious, naturally simple. Turkey Hill All-Natural Gelato. Channel 7 Eyewitness News, New York's news leader. Firefighters are making progress against two wildfires in Northern California. Crews battling flames in the Sierra Nevada mountains have now reopened one lane of a freeway linking Sacramento and Reno. And dozens of people have been allowed to get back to their homes as firefighters push back the flames in Napa Valley. There, they are just two of the 14 large fires that have been burning in six western states. Well, some breathtaking new images reveal a side of Pluto we have never seen before. NASA revealed photos taken during the New Horizons spacecraft's flyby of the dwarf planet. It is hazier than scientists expected, which may account for Pluto's reddish color. It appears to be covered, though, with flowing ice. And as for the temperature, it's an incredibly frigid 380 degrees below zero. There is a lot of work that we need to do to understand this very complicated place. Another feature some folks are excited about, notice the image of a heart on the bottom right. Well, New Horizons made its trip past Pluto 11 days ago. The probe came within 7,800 miles of the dwarf planet's surface. It will take a little more than a year for scientists to download all the images. This is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> the technology there. And the, the technology, how long it talk, t took to get there, the fact that it worked. <laughs> right, right. That's yeah, <laughs> money well spent, which is always a, a good thing. So. Yeah, the good science thing. that we're going to get back from that oh, is yeah. just incredible. I Hello. guess we're not going to colonize Pluto. Pluto. Well, not yet, but Flowing once we ice. create some sort of uh, bubble that protects us from 380 degrees and provides us oxygen. And right. And that way right. we can right. everything that. else. That's all we need. Exactly. So that yeah. we can safely build our Walmarts and Targets and Starbucks and strip malls and <laughs> Waffle Messing Houses up. and Danny. Yeah, and then, <laughs> exactly. Waffle House, wait a minute. Whoa, now, hey, hash browns. <laughs> I hop. Slice, only, nice, cover, chunked, and smothered. Only the necessary things. <laughs> the only, <laughs> yeah, only, the, only the basics here in America. Oh, my gosh. Amy, this, the uh, string crab. of weather has just been like, this is what I'm talking about. Stella. I just want to run Stella. through a meadow with a Stella. lemonade and a straw hat. It's just it been has great. Been it has been fantastic. And you know, we've lucked out a lot here on the uh, weekends. Uh, not every weekend has been, per been perfect, but this one is hard to complain about. Uh, today is the better day as far as skies being perfect and temperatures spot on with low humidity. So starting off this AccuWeather forecast this morning, a live picture of the beautiful start we've got to this day. And there's plenty of this ahead. Looking into lower Manhattan, we can see all the way down to One World Trade. It really is spectacular seeing the sun sort of glisten on the buildings. 
reading the official uh, information out of Central Park this morning, 69 degrees for the temperature, humidity 63%. Winds are calm, pressure's holding steady, and we're looking for temperatures today to make it into the mid-80s. First, a current uh, look at Long Island, 65 for Hop Hog, Massapequa 65 as well, 71 for Great Neck. Warmer closer into the city, uh, the temperatures have been as high as the low 70s and in around the, the boroughs. We've dropped to 69 there at Central Park, but we're still at 54 for Tom's River, so spots where the skies were clear last night, the temperatures were allowed to drop really rapidly, and the sunshine warms us up again today. Maybe as much as 25 degrees uh, from the starting temperatures north and west of the city. Here's the temperature profile for Queens this morning, going into the mid-70s quite early by noon, almost 80 degrees, and we're looking for a high of 85. Now, radar and satellite picture tells the story pretty well. Hard to see anything here in the northeast. There's barely a cloud popping up on the screen. And by tomorrow, we'll start to see a little more instability, the increase in humidity. We'll see the temperatures come up just a little bit. But this is really a uh, comfy uh, conclusion for the start of the weekend. By tomorrow, we're going to be seeing higher humidity in this approaching cold front, which could threaten us with showers or thunderstorms late in the weekend. So that's kind of how you play it. Looking at the future cast also into Sunday morning, north and west of the city, all the way up into the northern counties, Sullivan, Ulster. These are some places where we could see some pop-up showers through the early part of the day, even into the afternoon. But then those sort of fade off. It's isolated. By Monday morning, more heat, more humidity, and through the afternoon, uh, we get this instability. Still looking north and west of the city, but can't rule that out to keep an eye to the sky on Monday. Sea and sand forecast looks like this. A waves one to two feet, water temperatures 72 to 77. It's almost right. When we hit 80, I'll go in. Just to my ankles, though. <laughs> Rip current risk is low. Uh, weekend planner for your getaways, Catskills, Hamptons, and the Jersey Shore. Uh, today's the better day. By tomorrow, we're looking at threatening storms, especially north and west of the city. So tonight, partly cloudy and a spotty shower. By tomorrow, 87. Monday looks stormy in spots, mainly north and west. There will be parts of the area that see sunshine, particularly east. Tuesday, 89. Then we could get a heat wave for the middle of the week. Temperatures uh, really edging into the 90s. Oh, yeah. Coming up. Hello, in, summer. Coming up in Big Dog Sunday, uh, I will tell you about Bentley the Wonder Dog, our friend Kelly Ford and Nash. Yeah. They'll be hosting Bark in the Park, so those details. Bark in the Park? Yeah, we're right. coming in Big Dog. Or no, Big what is it today? So today's Super Cat Saturday. Saturday. I'm sorry. So tomorrow? Well, I'm going to tell about Bark in the Park today. All right. Preview. Thank you, Amy. All right. <laughs> Straight ahead, allow this news Saturday morning. The new details in the death of a woman who died in police custody in Texas and the new video police have released overnight. And after several days of frustrating commutes for New Jersey transit riders, Amtrak's president steps forward explaining the big and apparently old problem. Only one family goes to incredible lengths to bring the thrills, the adventure, and the best of Africa back home to you. Kalahari Resorts, now open in the Pocono Mountains. Book now at kalahariresorts.com. It is a entire transformation. It's like we have a new home. Real customers share their stories about Empire today. It's just that above and beyond that Empire is known for. The crew was professional. They were courteous. They worked so fast, but the quality is amazing. Empire's products are top notch. The carpeting and the flooring, it's phenomenal. I'm so happy we selected Empire. 800-588-2300, Empire. Today, you love Eyewitness News, and you'll love our app. So easy, with breaking news alerts, keeping you up to date in a New York minute. Download the Eyewitness News app. The weather team to watch is on Channel 7 Eyewitness News. The team to watch is on Channel 7 Eyewitness News at 5.
Much more ahead on Eyewitness News on the Saturday morning, a developing story in East Harlem. Police continue to search for the prisoner who escaped from police custody at the 2-5 precinct. I'm Marcus Solis. Details coming up in a live report. I'm meteorologist Amy Freeze. What a great start to this Saturday. It really is going to be the better half of the weekend today. And if you're going to rate it on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the very best it could be this time of year, what a summer weekend. It tops the charts. Coming up, I'll explain how things will change. One family goes to incredible lengths to bring the thrills, the adventure, and the best of Africa back home to you. Kalahari Resorts, now open in the Pocono Mountains. Book now at kalahariresorts.com. Now at Empire Today, save big on new floors with our buy one, get two free sale. Buy floors for one room and get carpet, hardwood, or laminate for two more rooms. Free when you pay for padding and installation. Empire makes flooring easy. We bring samples to your home, give free estimates during your appointment, and professionally install your project right. So save big with Empire's buy one, get two free sale. Schedule now. 800-588-2300-EMPIRE. Today. We just want to say thank you. Seven. Thank you so much. Thank you. Seven. Seven. Stepping up. Seven. Seven on our side. Seven. But it's all because of Seven on Your Side. Nina Pineda and Seven on Your Side, only on Eyewitness News. When something happens, I'm an eyewitness. I'm an eyewitness. Eyewitness as it happens. I'm an eyewitness. Because I got eyewitness news right here. I love it. I love it. No matter where I am, I'm an eyewitness. Hello, Channel 7. Everything I need right here. Hashtag ABC7NY. So easy. <laughs> Be an eyewitness. Share what you see at hashtag ABC7NY. It's eyewitness news. It's the best news in New York. Come on. Look at this picture outside. It just keeps getting nicer. Welcome back to Eyewitness News. It is Saturday morning, July 25th. Great to have you with us. And uh, hmm. we've been on the best, Lee Goldberg said many days ago, this is going to be possibly the best stretch of weather in your life. No, in the summer. <laughs> this summer. <laughs> it, really, it really has been, though. This is like, I live for days. Right? Are you kidding me? Like, more nice, Clear. chill, nice, sunny sky. Oh, right? This is, this, is, this is the heart of summer right here. So we're, You can breathe. Feels good. Right? Feels good. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Thanks for being with us early on your yeah. Saturday morning, July 25th. I'm Rob Nelson, Mr. Yeah. Summer. I'm Michelle Charlesworth, Mrs. Summer. <laughs> we're all about it. Don't check in with us. 